Hello everybody, this is Andreas Kolinski, Klangkörner Germany, based in Düsseldorf, talking about the new Dear VR plugin for immersive audio music production. So I'm in my DAW, I'm using Pro Tools today and you can hear my voice already within the plugin. Just to check if everything is at the right place, I move my voice to the left in the room and to the right, easily come close or far. Okay, I leave my voice as it is and uh, I like to go over to the first instrument of my production and it's uh, the saxophone and I put the plug in on top of it as well. And uh, firstly, I like to show you the recording as it was. It's uh, Rick Magitza from the Miles Davis group, a very nice guy and a fantastic musician. And I put the plug-in on and you can hear that we have some nice convolution reverb included the plug-in and um, it's very fun to place it with the reverb. So you have really the imagination that uh, the saxophone player is moving in the room. And as you can hear easily now, you have much more possibilities to place the instrument in many places, in many positions, um, than you can, could do if you would do it in stereo. Even if you only choose the reflections, you can make nice movements. And if you choose uh, maybe the recording hall here, you can change the size and maybe a little bit of damping to the reflections and to the reverb to the room at all. I think I like that for my production. Okay, I have copied the setting of the plug-in to the bass player and um, now I like to place him nicely beside the saxophone player. It's so easy with the same setting because it's the same room and you have more choices than in stereo, much more. Okay, how about the guitar player? Same setting and even you can do some volume adjustments here, very easy. Maybe a little bit closer and as you can hear this binaural audio mixing has much more details in the position as a normal stereo field okay now I have the next track a nice chord loop FX and I switch on the plug-in and now I choose a more bigger convolution reverb string hall from the presets and instead of moving around with a normal x z y axis I go to the polar mode which gives me a nice circle to go with you see on the x and z axis and even on the Y and that axis with the elevation parameter. So you can put it on top. How about you switch on the other things around? And make a nice automated chord FX loop. So I put my settings to the drum checks, as you can see and hear, and place the drums nicely around the other instruments. Of course you can go much more experimental than I did. It's really fun to play with this plug-in and um, if you want to have another output format, you have a little list here. Um, 
for ambisonic format if you like to go to YouTube or to a normal speaker 2.0 stereo field. Thank you for watching and listening to our little tutorial. Enjoy the new possibilities with this amazing plugin. Stay tuned for our next tutorials and have a look to the audio demos on the website of Plugin Alliance. See you!